Okay, so we're gonna start with the towel, as I said. And we are going to just bring it kind of like two thirds up your mat. You know, if you're on the floor, on a carpet, that is totally fine. But what we want to do is make sure that we have um, something behind our back. All right, so we're gonna lay on top just below the shoulder blades. So if, you have, if you've ever worn a bra, that's where the bra strap would be. So just place that underneath your shoulder blades and make sure that your neck is long. So even using your hands to softly, gently pull your, neck, your head away from the trunk to make sure that your neck is long. So this should be comfortable, somewhat comfortable. We're not used to having something behind your back, but the reason why we're using is, is we're going to start recreating that, that uh, spinal arch, all right? Many of us, we hunch forward, and what we want with this stretch, it's a very small stretch, we're starting on small, is to start allowing our chest to open, our heart center to open. Um, so it's the opposite of hunching, of rounding our backs. So it's gentle, find that place where it's still bearable. Make sure that the back of your skull, of your head is firmly planted, all right? If this is uncomfortable for your neck, it means that it's already, the, the prop we're using is too high. So let's just stay here. We're going to relax our legs away from the trunk, the arms away from the trunk. And let's take three slow, deep inhales and exhales. So follow my cue, inhale through the nose, chest, rib cage, and belly expand. In reverse, exhale, belly, rib cage, and chest. Oh, just one of those already feels so good, right? All right, let's do that a few more times. So inhale through your nose, the chest, the rib cage, the belly, the sides, and even the back expand. And then we exhale through the nose, belly, rib cage, and chest. You might already notice how you're so much more relaxed by now. Let's go for round three. This time we're gonna make it a little bit deeper. So inhale through your nose, chest, rib cage, belly expand. Sip in a little more air, a little more air, a little more air. And let's exhale it through the mouth. Ah, this time. You might have noticed that all of a sudden your neck feels like it's a little crunched up because we've relaxed the vertebrae, so now we can lengthen the neck. So grab your head and lengthen it, even if it's just like a centimeter, or like half an inch or just a tiny bit. All of a sudden, your spine is longer because we've relaxed it. And with this prop, we're allowing it to regain that natural curve that we have in our middle to lower backs. Let's start moving our head side to side, massaging the skull, massaging all that back part. We're activating the neck muscles a little bit. So let's see, let's continue working with a three part breath as we move. Always sending the breath towards our belly. You can just imagine your diaphragm, which you know is going up and down with every inhale as it massages your internal organs. That feels great. It's like an internal massage, a visceral massage. Mm. Relaxing the belly, the lower abdomen, the pelvic floor, the legs, the feet. Right now it's just the neck that's moving side to side. All right, let's come to stillness and we're going to bend our knees, plant our feet as wide as the mat. If you're not using a mat, that would be like wider than your hips. All right, and we're gonna start windshield wiping, but very slowly. So let's just let our let knees drop towards the right side for a moment. We're gonna breathe here for a moment. 
if the prop, the towel that we have underneath our bags, starts to feel a little bit uncomfortable before removing it, see if you could just like wiggle your shoulders in a way so that all of a sudden it feels okay. If at any stage having this prop underneath your back feels uncomfortable or even painful, then please remove it by all means, all right? Inhale, knees go up. Exhale, knees drop to the other side. Mmm, spinal twist, hip twist as well. We're internally and externally rotating the hips. Maybe bringing your gaze towards the opposite shoulders. So in my case, it's the left. The knees are to the right and my face it moves towards the left. Relax everything that you can relax. On the next inhale, we come back to neutral. Exhale, knees to the left, gaze to the right. The wider your feet are when you do this, the more intense the hip stretch is. So it's up to you. Play around with it and see what feels good. Inhale your knees up, knees then go to the right, gaze go to the left. Breathing deeply. Now bring the knees up and back and forth. Now we do the real windshield wipers. So still mindfully, we're still very much tuning inwards, still very much noticing the sensations. So this is part of our self-study. This is not a yoga class, but I am a yoga teacher as well. And in yoga, there is something called Svadhyaya, which is self-study. And self-study is one of the limbs, one of the eight limbs of yoga, as is meditation, concentration, asana, etc., etc. So self-study is also practicing yoga. Uh, doesn't this feel amazing when we're able to breathe, when we're able to stretch, and we're actually giving ourselves a massage because the towel that we have underneath us helps us to massage the middle about, you know, middle muscles in the back. A few more times like this. Close your eyes if you haven't done so. And this time we're going to bring our feet closer to our hips. We're going to lift the hips just for a moment as we remove the towel. All right, we are towel free. Oh, that feels good. All right, since we're here with our knees bent, we're going to grab onto the left knee and just pull it gently towards your left shoulder. We're going to stretch the right leg away from us. All right, so you're probably feeling a stretch in your left hamstring and your glute and a bit of a hip flexor stretch on the right leg. Lengthen your neck, relax your shoulders away from the ears. Your biceps are working, but your neck isn't. Your neck is relaxed, so pull in a little bit more. Breathing deeply, sending the breath into your lower belly, into your pelvic floor. Now opening the hip, just using the left hand to guide the left knee towards the side. All right, can you relax your hip muscles? For many of us, this is really intense. So can we just relax the hip muscles, making sure that our right hip bone has not lifted, that our right glute is still very planted on the floor. We just drop the left knee. Can you let gravity do its thing? Just relax, your neck is long, shoulders are relaxed. And then bring the left knee towards the left shoulder one more time, give it a nice tug. And then bring the right knee up, grab the right knee with your right hand, pull both of them towards your shoulders. Try to bring your sacrum on the floor, lengthen that spine, open up, relax all the pelvic floor organs. On the exhale, extend the left leg, grab your right knee with both hands 
and then stretch the left leg firmly away from you as you bring your right knee a little bit closer towards your shoulder. Yes, you're probably feeling a right hip flex, a right uh, hamstring and glute stretch, and a left side hip flexor stretch. Breathing deeply. Exhaling completely. On the next inhale, let go of your left hand and just using your right hand, guide the knee towards the side to open that right hip. Oh yeah, you feel it? I'm feeling it. So here it's like a mind over matter situation. Can we use the power of our focus and concentration to send a message to our right hip to afford to relax? Let's take a deep inhale together. Chest, rib cage, and belly expand. And then exhale, belly, rib cage, and chest. Did you notice how on that exhale you were able to lower your knee a little bit more, opening your hip a little bit more? It's amazing what breathing can do. So let's continue doing that. Deep inhale, fill up that beautiful belly. Exhale, belly, ribcage, and chest, and maybe the right knee goes down a little bit more. On the next inhale, let's grab the right knee with both hands, give it a nice tug. Then grab the left knee with the left hand, nice tug, knees towards the shoulder, sacrum to the floor. And let's make some circles with our knees into one direction. And the other direction, just rinsing off any residual tension that might be in the lower back. Oof, didn't this feel good? Oh my goodness. So we've twisted a little bit, we've opened up the back gently, we've opened up the hips, just gentle hip flexor stretch, and we're on our back, so relaxed. You know, this is the beauty of stretching. It doesn't have to be, you know, like, requiring a lot of effort it's so easy all right using your hands start to come towards the side and using your hands to push yourself up grab the cushion or the bolster that we um that that you grabbed before and we're gonna go into a supported child's pose so actually i'm gonna go this do it this way so that i can keep looking at you because my microphone is on the left side all right so from here we're going to broaden our knees. We're going to sit on our heels just for a moment. Don't worry. So all of a sudden we're getting this stretch, knee stretch. All right, ankle stretch. This is um, very good in Asia, um, in East Asia especially. You know, people sit on the floor all the time. And that's why people there have more open hips and have more flexibility in their legs and their lower body because, you know, as you sit on the floor, you get more flexibility. In the West, we tend to sit on chairs, so this is not very comfortable. So just notice if there's any tension and where the tension is. Just a mental note, part of our self-practice study. All right, so then bring that bolster, that uh, cushion, a little closer to you. As you start, like as close as possible inwards into your thighs, and then use your hands to walk them forward as you bring your belly onto the bolster. And then you're gonna slowly bring the right side, the right cheek onto the bolster. So then most of your weight is now on the belly to bolster connection and not so much on your knees, definitely not on your heels. All right, so now your, your butt must have lifted like mine. So try to close your eyes here. Try to relax as much as possible. If this is very uncomfortable for you, maybe you need two bolsters. All right, so go grab another bolster, another cushion, if this just having one is, is not good for you. So I invite you here just to like tune inwards and start relaxing your hips once again. Relax, relax your pelvic floor, perineum area, first and second chakras relax, third chakra area relax, if that means anything to you. And then like widen your arms as much as possible. The elbows are on the floor, but make sure your shoulders are relaxed. 
can we relax every muscle in our body? Can we tune inwards and continue breathing deeply into our lower abdomen? Uh, and allowing our bodies to just blend into the bolster, having a gentle hip opener. This is very restorative and fo this is kind of forward fold combined with hip opening. And forward folds are very calming as hip openers are great also to let go of any unwanted emotion, fear, all those feelings that we normally just latch onto that we don't let go. Well, hip opening has an effect on our body memory and you know the body mind connection is such that when we stretch in different ways we can also help our emotional body our emotional state relax your belly try to let go of anything that doesn't serve set that intention with your breath deep inhales complete exhales When we're able to combine breath work, relaxation, and stretching, our bodies accept the stretch so much better. We can go deeper, more gently, more safely, just because we're programming our minds to allow the body to stretch. On the next inhale, use your arms to lift your chest just gently enough to turn your head the other way and place your left cheek on the bolster. Breathing deeply. Letting your belly drop with every inhale. Making sure you're relaxing your belly your pelvic floor, your knees, your hips, your lower back, all is relaxed. On the next inhale, use your hands to push yourself up. Now we're gonna do kind of a side body stretch. So I'm gonna bring my bolster a little bit towards the left, all right? And now I'm going to lie on top of it once again with my face looking towards the left and I'm gonna stretch my right arm away, all right? So I, now I feel a stretch on the right, uh, on the right ribs and try to really push down with your right arm to sink your right hip towards your heels. So here we're getting a side stretch and a hip opener. Yes, we like to add on things in stretching class. We want to get the most out of these moments. We want to do these things you know, gently, safely and wisely. Breathing deeply into your bellies. Relaxing your pelvic floor, relaxing your shoulders. On the next inhale, use your hands to push your torso up. We're gonna bring the bolster onto the right side. Right, so look at the screen if you don't know what I'm talking about. And the same thing, we're gonna start, you know, like folding towards the right knee as I extend my left arm outwards and then bring my left cheek on the bolster, on the prop. And feeling the stretch on the left side.
relax your belly, relax your shoulders, relax your spine, relax your neck, relax your pelvic floor, your glutes, your knees, everything is relaxed. Breathing deeply, tuning inwards, noticing the sensations of the stretch. On the next inhale, use your hands to push yourself up. And, you know, bring the bolster towards the middle of the mat. We're going to sit on it now. Right, so as we come to sit on the bolster, on the cushion, using your hands to slowly come back on the floor, bringing your back, making sure that the sacrum is well planted on the bolster. All right, so the lower back is not so supported. What's really supported is the sacrum, the glutes. All right, so make, yourself, make sure that you find that place. All right, so this is in yoga, we call it supported bridge, but you know, that doesn't matter what the word is here. What we want is this is releasing our lower back. And for many of us, we have lower back problems. That's kind of a general issue in modern day society, especially when we spend so much time on our chairs. So I invite you to keep coming back to this supported bridge at any time of the day. It is so relaxing. It really releases any tension in the back. Make sure your neck is long. Once again, you might want to use your hands to elongate, to lengthen that neck, making sure your shoulders are relaxed away from the ears. As we relax our bellies and our pelvic floor, if this is difficult to maintain and you need to have your thighs activated to keep your knees like that, you can bring also your uh, knees towards each other. So by bringing your feet wider and just letting your knees fall into each other. That's one way to maintain it, to sustain it. And then another way, another option, which is um, very calming, it's, this is more of an inversion. Basically, we lift our legs up. All right, so relax the toes, but you know, try to keep your ankles together. You know, the inside, the inseam of your legs together so it's kind of active but not so much you don't need to activate the legs that much just enough to make sure that the legs stay together vertically and close your eyes relax your shoulders you know uh, bring your palms facing up if that's okay with your stability and try to relax here try to find some comfort this is great for our tired legs to this, the reason why I'm including this in today's class is because during summertime, many of us get swollen legs because of the heat. And this is an amazing anti-swelling of the legs. This you can do, this requires a little bit of an activation of the belly and the hip flexors because you need to keep your legs in that position. But you can also do this against the wall. Imagine I have the wall just behind me just behind my legs. And then you just leave, you know, you, you just plant your legs onto the wall and just relax. This is so good for our tired feet, our tired legs, when they get all swollen. So let's close our eyes for a moment and let's start tuning inwards as we come towards the end of the class. Continue to breathe in deeply and exhale completely. Noticing any sensations in the body, maybe tingling sensations. When we lift our hips higher than our hearts, it creates a rebalancing of energies. In yoga and other Eastern sciences, we believe that the bodies are composed of energy channels, energy lines or meridians. And when we lift our hips, we are changing the 
you know, the order of things, what's in the top becomes the bottom, the bottom becomes the top. So this actually helps us to rebalance our energy field. And it's also increasingly, uh, incredibly calming for the mind. So when we combine breath work with, you know, gentle inversions, we can, it's like, we can just go deep so quickly, go into a state of pure calm, pure like de-stress, releasing any muscles in the back that are still contracted. Slowly bending your knees, bringing the feet back on the floor. We're gonna lift the hips and remove the bolster. Let's see, you know, windshield wiper just for a moment. We always like to finish class with windshield wiping to rinse off any residual tension that might have accumulated in the lower back. Letting the knees fall towards the side, then roll over the rest of the body towards the left, and we come into an upright seated position. I'm gonna get closer to the camera. As we come towards the end of the class, I invite you to find an upright seated position. We're gonna sit in silence in a guided meditation for a few moments, closing your eyes, lengthening your spine. Noticing the effects, the sensations of today's stretch practice in your body. Lengthening your spine, relaxing the shoulders, tuning inwards, just noticing the breath. In this Meditation practice is mindfulness meditation. By mindful, we're trying to be more aware of ourselves, trying to put our thinking mind aside. And we do that with the focus, the intention of focusing on something. And in this case, we're using the breath. So start studying with curiosity the sensations in your body as the breath goes in and out. The texture of the air as it goes in through the nose, the temperature, the sensations as your chest expands, as your diaphragm pushes your internal organs down, as you relax your belly and your pelvic floor. Noticing the beautiful sensations in your body. If your mind has gone elsewhere, just keep coming back to the breath. You know, the mind tries to bring in images, memories, plans. That's what the mind does. So the mind wants to entertain you, but just tell the mind that it's not time for that. So just let any thoughts drift away like clouds in the sky. 
back to yourself, coming back to your inner self, your higher self. Once we let go of the thoughts and the minds and the ego, we can tune in into our real essence. The forces and the energy that are in you, that have created you, that have always been there with you. And the mind and our ego and our intellect are great but they're also an impediment to tune inwards and to reconnect to that essence behind our existence. Take a deeper inhale through the nose, chest, rib cage, belly expand. Sip in a little more air, a little more air, a little more air, and exhale, side out, ha, through the mouth, ha. <laughs> Let's do that two more times. Inhale deeply through the nose, chest, rib cage, and belly expand. A little more air, a little more air. Ah, side out, let it all out. Any tension, last time together. Inhale deeply, chest, rib cage, and belly expand. A little more air, sip in a little more air. Hold for three, two, one. Ah, side out, exhale completely. Bring your hands to heart prayer. Bow down. Bring your chin closer to your chest. Relax the shoulders away from the ears. Relax the neck. Bowing down to seal our practice. Bowing down to thank our bodies. Bowing down to thank that energy that brought you to today's practice. That motivation that is part of your self-care practice wanting to improve your life, your well-being, your body. So thank all of those things that make it possible today to come to this practice. Let's tune into that idea of gratitude. As we start to lift our heads and open the eyes, taking in the room, lower your hands. And that's it for today's, my friend, Jürgen. Jürgen, Jürgen, so good to have you here. It seems like you are becoming a regular, Jürgen, so I hope to see you here every day, 8.15, New York City or Eastern Time. Please come back. Please subscribe to all the other people either watching me live or watching, watching my replay recording later. Namaste to you all. I hope you are well. Please remember that um, I have loads of content in my website. So please visit my website and subscribe to my website, daviditohealing.com. The link is just over here. And um, there's a lot of content there. And by subscribing, you can also be added to my mailing list and I can send you new videos, new content, new playlists. All right, so be well. I hope to see you all here tomorrow. Please register for this class through my website and the link is um, uh, in, in my website. Namaste. Have a beautiful, beautiful day. Goodbye, friends. Hope to hear from you soon. Bye.